get it now on the other side. Back over the front of the net. Poke check into the bank. And it goes. And it goes. And it goes with point five. Up there is Hanson. Pins his man against the board. Oh, that one somehow gets through. Good got a piece of it, but not enough. <laughs> now all by himself is Matthew Durst. Durst comes in and puts it through the legs of Yancey with 11.6 seconds on the clock. Off the blocker, and that is gonna do it, folks. The LA Junior Kings, 18 and under, are your Pacific District champion. Hello and welcome to Sharks Ice at San Jose. My name is Jonathan Wold, and I'm excited to bring you this Black Dog Enterprises pre presentation of the 2015 Pacific District Championship. Today we have a Bantam 16 AAA matchup between the Everett Junior Silvertips and the San Jose Junior Sharks. Joining me here on the broadcast, at least for the uh, start, got Andy Dickerson filling in. How are you, Andy? I'm doing pretty well, John. Yeah, we got uh, had to move some things around on the schedule, so uh, uh, Zach Shukite will be uh, joining us, uh, well, joining you, I should say. Yeah. I'll be stepping out uh, early on in this game, but uh, happy to uh, get, get a flavor of the different divisions yeah. and teams involved. So while you're here, why don't you tell us why you're a better color commentator than Zach? Well, I'm a better commentator than Zach because uh, I've done a few more games than okay. him. Um, I play the game at a high level. All right. Uh, I have a high motor, so I work hard. <laughs> uh, and uh, I, uh, I have I have a better grasp of the jargon okay. because I've been in okay. the locker room, you know, and I, I know how the guys think and they, they talk. What about grit and experience and heart? Uh, you know what? I do have a – what was you were saying, the, uh, the uh, advanced stats? The advanced stats, uh, grit per 60 minutes. Yes, and, and uh, uh, heart percentage. Yeah. Or <laughs> Relative heart. Relative heart. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> How much heart they put in uh, on a on a regular yeah. basis? He only puts in about uh, seventy eight percent heart. Oh, got it. Got to up those numbers. Yeah, exactly. But uh, I think we're gonna see some good uh, heart and grit percentages uh, in, in this one. Well, this Everett team, you said you you had the pleasure of doing both these teams' games yesterday uh, on the South Rink. They just hung on for an exciting victory over uh, the Alaska Oilers, three two. Correct. Well, you had the. Alaska All-Stars with the 5-2 victory over the San Jose Junior Sharks. Okay. And, yes, the Everett Junior Silver Tips with the 3-2 victory over the Alaska Oilers. I came into the yesterday. rink uh, very late in that game and saw the final about 15 seconds when the Oilers had a diving scoring effort at the at the buzzer and almost tied it up. Yep, that so, was uh, a very close game. Came down to the wire. Well, it's Everett in the green jersey, San Jose in white. The Junior Sharks moving Left to right as they lose the puck there and almost give up a great A scoring chance to Everett right off the bat. Now here's Jenkins coming back the other way. Tries to throw it in front. Redirected at the side. It goes through the crease. And Everett will quickly try to move it out. Pace of this game already very quick. Cut into the outside. Shoveled in front. It goes wide of the net of netminder Jake Acton. He's between the pipes. For San Jose. Over on the other side, it is Dominic Bossetti in for Everett. The puck trickles back towards Acton, who hangs on for the whistle. Everett employing a, uh, a strategy you see sometimes at center ice. Uh, my team's used it occasionally on teams that I played on in the past, where uh, you swap the defensemen and the wingers. So the wingers line up in the defense position, and the defensemen line up in the wingers position and as soon as the puck is dropped they're timing it the wingers sprint through this face-off circle and try and overwhelm the opposing team's center to go off on a break almost worked for him here's a puck chipped towards the net and lifted just wide good chance by san jose now coming back the other way with some speed it's carter wade wade trying to get around the sharks defenseman gets a bit held up able to get the puck back behind the net thrown in front no one there in green push back to the corner Everett's still battling for it. Take him behind the net. Here tied up by Evan Pace of the Sharks. Move back behind the net once more. And up the boards for Wadrowski. Now here comes a break. Two on one. Pass across. Shot. Save made. And what a save it was. 
Dominic Bassetti comes up huge. Fantastic save there for the Everett goaltender, sliding post to post to deny that two-on-one scoring effort. The pass across was very good, and it was a quick shot down low. And that's tough for goaltenders to get. You got a lot of ground to cover there. Doesn't seem like it in such a small space, but it's very hard, and he executed that uh, that very well. Everett will dump it all the way down here, and that's going to go for icing. Let's check in on the Midget 16 AAA division right now. At the top of the standings are the Alaska All-Stars at 2-0. and oh. You've got Anaheim and this Everett team at 1-0 and oh, right behind them. Though Anaheim is uh, probably going to end up at 2-0 and oh, uh, very very shortly here as they're finishing up on the south rink. They were up 5 nothing at last check. Uh, you can probably say that lead is safe. Probably. You've got... Uh, the Alaska Oilers and the San Jose Junior Sharks currently at 0-1 and Kent Valley at 0-2 down at the bottom. Puck chipped ahead and pushed out of the zone by San Jose. And that was the Oilers that uh, Anaheim was playing over right. there on the south. So they're looking to drop to 0-2. So good chance for these teams to establish themselves a little bit more better. You get San Jose up clearly into the middle. Everett still trying to hang in with the top. Puck chipped up and it bounces back down. These players are flying here early in this game. Yeah, there is a ton of speed between these two teams. It might be exacerbated in my eyes because I was just watching girls 19 double A, which was a little bit different speed level. <laughs> There's a shot wide of Acton. Then again, the Vancouver Canucks were out here practicing before. So there's... A little bit of a speed difference the other direction there from I, this I game. I think they might have left something out there. Yeah, they might have. Um, you remember Space Jam? Yes. Here's a big shot knocked <laughs> down on the pads. Brought back out to the neutral zone. Clark regroups, sends it in, but it goes right to a San Jose stick. Oh, Space Jam. Sean Bradley. <laughs> need I say more? Bill Murray, need I say more? It's true. Got back to the outside, looking for a shot. That is blocked. Another follow-up chance by San Jose, but it goes right back for Brady Mistler. And Mistler leads the rush on the far side. Puts on the brakes, creates a little room. Drops back for the trailer. Wrist shot and a blocker save. When you can pull off that move, you can shake your defender and create a ton of open space for that passing lane. Clark denies entry at the blue line. Clark back across. And flipped right across the line, but right to a San Jose stick. And now here comes Pace up the right wing side, looking for a shot, tries to pick the corner and misses wide. Huge collision there at the blue line. San Jose able to keep possession of the puck. He'll flip a backhander towards the net that's knocked away by the blocker and brought back the other way. San Jose regroups. Pushed up the board, but right to Estrada. Everett going to have to tag up here. Give San Jose a little bit of breathing room. Nice pressure on the far side. Puck comes loose as someone lost the glove. Meanwhile, Pace skates it ahead, throws it right into the glove of the Silver Tips netminder, Dominic Bassetti. We've already called Evan Pace's name a few times. One of three, uh, we should say, former Bellarmine Bells out here as we've covered uh, the Anaheim Ducks High School Hockey League as part of uh, our network. Uh, Pace, Matt Eberton, and Zach Fobar, all uh, still Bellarmine students, but uh, opted to play full-time here for this Junior Sharks uh, 16 squad. Here's a shot by Moore that trickles just wide. Rebound, they try to flick it back in front but it's knocked away by Everett, and here they come on the rush. Three on two, or pardon me, two on three, but San Jose's got a trailer back. They cut in, take the shot. Acton with the save on the doorstep, scores! And San Jose complaining. They said the net came off, and it did look pretty loose, but referee says it doesn't matter. The net was on its way off its moorings. Acton made the first two saves. Puck was stopped up at his leg pad, and... Uh, they jammed that one home as the net was being dislodged. Referee uh, deciding oh. that. Oh, well, I was going to say, the referee was was determining they, that it didn't have an impact on the play, yeah. but uh, apparently after talking with his linesman, it did. 
All right, so a uh, little bit of a change there. You actually even saw the one go up on the scoreboard and have it taken off. And with that exciting play, I'm out of here. All right. So see you later. Bye, I can't Andy. get any better than that Bye, other than Andy. a goal that actually <laughs> counted, right? And here's Zach. All right, let's uh, welcome Zach Shukate to the broadcast booth. How are you, Zach? Good. How are you, John? Pretty good. Uh, when uh, I introduced Andy and said that uh, he was on part-time, I uh, made sure to ask him what made him a better broadcaster than you. <laughs> so uh, now you get the equal time to respond. What makes you a better broadcaster than Andy? Ooh, how about the fact that this is my uh, fourth game today and I still have one more? All right. <laughs> No, this is uh, this is all new to me. You know, I did <laughs> I did Silver Sticks uh, a while back. It was a small tournament, and you know, this is my first major tournament. And uh, oh, a huge hit there goes right to it, Everett Stick, and a shot knocked away by Jake Acton. Yeah, Sorry to cut you off there. No, no, not a problem. As we've got another chance. There's a shot picked just wide, and Everett trying to get that goal back that they just got denied by the referee. Studioso plays it across. We dumped down to the near side corner, but they did not have center yet, and so that's going to be icing. Yeah, you know, I've been uh, trying to get used to doing the camera and all the fast movements. I mean, this is much faster than just the uh, small three-on-three -three tournament that we were doing for Silver Sticks for the little guys before, so. Yeah, and especially uh, looking at the might games that we called <laughs> for one of those last tournaments. Yep. Big checks into the board there. Yeah, Puck somehow comes loose to an Everett stick. Evans, drop pass, right back to Evans. Throws it towards the net, and Acton comes up with the save. And then I think someone might have uh, run into an Everett player a little bit late. Yeah, it looks and like Greenfield is not having it. Looks like number eight, Tyler Buchanan. Just going in there just a little bit late. Frustration's getting the best of him. Yeah, I'm pretty familiar with this uh, 16 AAA team. Uh, we got a good team here. Let's see if which one prevails between Everett and San Jose. 11-11 left to go here in the first period. No score, but we had one no uh, non-goal. Shots even at three apiece. Puck thrown ahead, but intercepted by San Jose as they transition back the other way. Two on two. Rittenhouse hands it off, loses the puck right in the slot, goes back, but no one there on a trailer, and Everett takes it back the other way. Wrist shot attempted, but it ricochets off a stick up into the screen for a whistle. Seems like tempers are already flaring, and this game's only five and a half minutes in. Right, and you know, they're going full speed, too. Like, the way that they've started this game, you'd think that this is like the championship game or just a whole higher level. Yeah. They are they are putting 100% into this one, for sure. They've got a penalty coming up here to San Jose. Everett gonna be on the power play for the first time. As sitting in the box for the Sharks, it's Tyler Buchanan. He gets two minutes for roughing. San Jose doing a pretty good job just pinning that puck to the boards. Taking a little bit of abuse to kill off some precious seconds. Now a puck almost trickles right back in front. Be flicked around the boards and poked out of the zone. And San Jose with some support. Cuts in, breakaway chance, shoots, blocker save! What a chance for Mikhail Eckinger. And now coming back the other way. 1.15 left to go on the power play for the Silver Tips. Push down into the corner for Everett. Hand off to the side, looking for options. Maloney into the corner. Back down for Connors. Estrada creates a little extra room, then throws it down for Connors. Back to Estrada trying to poke it back in front, maybe hoping it goes off a skate, but it ricocheted right back behind the net. 
Played down to the corner once more. 40 seconds left to go here in the first period. Maloney fakes the shot. A little shot pass and thrown in front. Digging away at it was Connors. And the net comes off its moorings. And a couple players get tangled up right in the crease. So, John, uh, what number of game is this for you this weekend? This weekend? Let's see. I did uh, three yesterday and one bright and early this morning. So this is uh, number five. Keeping it busy then, huh? And a uh, much longer schedule for the rest of the way out. I think I have uh, two more after this. Three or four tomorrow. Three or four on uh, Sunday as well. Yeah, you're keeping busy. Just, oh, yeah. Just in case Andy didn't say anything, just to let the viewers know at home, we got the best play-by-play -play analyst right here in John Wall, let me tell you. Okay, don't don't build me up like that. Now if I mess up, they'll be <laughs> like, oh, he's not that good. If you ever get a chance, you should watch San Jose State's game on Black Dog They uh, next season. John's always doing the play-by-play -play for that, knocking well, out of the park. I think I uh, might be going part-time, graduating from uh, San Jose State after this summer, so we'll see if uh, I get to continue my work with the Spartans. Oh, let's hope so. There's a long pass through the neutral zone. Turning back out of harm's way was Mark Gaynor. Nice pass up for Bascom. Bascom tries to force it in towards the middle. It trickles towards the net, and it will be held by Bassetti. 8.18 to go here in the first period. No score between the Junior Sharks and the Junior Silvertips. Face off one of the boards. Everett with control. Tried to leave it there on the boards, but it's intercepted by San Jose. Moore plays it into the corner. Now back behind the net. Bascom races after it. Moore will slide in there, scoop it up, but his stick gets a bit tangled. Can't get a shot off. Now coming back the other way. It's Brendan Weir. We are up the right wing side, trying to power in, and he shoots, and he scores! And then ends up running over the goaltender as well. Are they calling it a goal, or are they calling him for running Jake Acton there? Can, can you do both? Because that one, I don't know. from my angle here, that clearly slid in before he made any contact with the goaltender. That, that's what I was thinking. That puck was in before any contact was made, so I wonder what the ruling is here. This is, they're waving this one off too. Wow. And I don't know about that one. I mean, not only that, they're giving Weir a charging, so that's a two and a 10. Wow, yeah, I, I, I agree with you on that one. That one was in the net before any contact was made, so I'm a little surprised on that call. So things go from not good to worse for Everett. Not only do they denied the goal, but they also have to sit two players in the penalty box, at least for this two minutes. And uh, you can still see tempers flaring a bit, a little bit of jousting there on the far side. The two teams were about ready to take that face off. See what San Jose can do on the power play here. Putting on the brakes is Buchanan. Cut in towards the slot. Wrist shot right into the glove of Bassetti. He's had to make some pretty big stops already early in this one. Shots now 6-4 in favor of San Jose. Puck taken here by Everett. Trying to get it out of the zone. And it'll get cleared all the way down. 1.30 left on the Sharks power play. Nice pass, tape to tape up the left wing side. Flipped across the line, but a little bit of miscommunication there. Sharks able to recover. But now it goes right back to an Everett stick. And we'll have another clear. Buck tied up on the far side. Grayson North takes it back, waits for the Four checking pressure to break off. Now he'll start his way up. And a good 
Stick check by Maloney. Denied the Sharks. Entry across the line, and now here's Pace with a toe drag, and he gets a stick lifted at the last moment just as he was loading up for a shot. Yeah, that was a nice move there. He almost pulled that off. Almost would have been a goal, maybe. Down to the corner. Now for Gaynor. Quickly, point to point. Tidenko under pressure. Back behind the net. Pinballs around, scooped up. Shot pass again, looking for a redirect in front, but it missed everyone. Pace, up for Tidenko. Back to Pace. Saucered up high. Here's Gaynor. Sharks mostly being kept to the outside right now. Now they'll throw one towards the net. It flips up and over the crossbar. Two seconds left. Can the Sharks get one more chance? They'll flip it deep. Turn back and just have the puck fall off the stick. And then Jenkins ends up getting his stick down near the skates of an Everett player and trips him up. So the Sharks go from on the power play to shorthanded here. 5.44 to go here in the first period. Still no score. Despite two possible goals by Everett that got waved off. Let's see if Everett can get a goal that stays on the board this time. Here's Evans, up at the blue line. And that's intercepted by San Jose. Nice long pass ahead, up for Rittenhouse. One on one and a poke check breaks that up but comes right back to a shark stick. Unfortunately, even Miller couldn't quite settle that one for San Jose. And now here comes Wade. Wade to the outside, wrist shot and right into the glove of Acton. Nice glove hand by Acton right there. 128 left to go on the power play for Everett. Five twelve left in the first period. Connor's coming in to take the draw. Lined up against Bascom. There's Maloney. That pass nearly intercepted. Big shot wide of the net. Rebound kicks back. And a stick gets in the way. Otherwise, that would have been a wide open net to shoot at. Troy Pachette takes it behind the net, leaves it there, and nearly had it taken away by a shark. Settled for Estrada, skates up the left wing side, puts on the brakes, try to create a little more room. Up top, but it just hops over Studioso's stick, and Everett will have to regroup. Back around to the near side. Four and a half to go in the first, 45 seconds. Left on the power play. Studioso leads the silver tips into the zone. Pichette activates. Able to keep the puck in there. Played down low, right on the doorstep. And again, the Sharks get a stick in there at the last possible second. Otherwise, again, that would have been a wide open net to shoot at. Yeah, Good okay. job by San Jose taking away that loose puck off a rebound. Yeah, Buchanan with a nice stick there to knock that off the line. Now Maloney, back across. Thrown right in front, shot, and Acton with a huge save, moving post to post there. That was a sweet dish to get it off to the man in the, tra the trailer. Six seconds left to go here on the power play for Everett, 350. Left in the first. Penalty comes to an end. We're back to five on five. Everett working out of the corner. That's Mistler. Ooh. Collision there right along the boards. That's going to be a penalty. So San Jose will find themselves shorthanded again. I believe that's going to be Tyler Nelson going to the box, and indeed he is. Two minutes cross-checking. And I think Everett is 
due for a goal here. They've had a couple wide open chances that the Sharks have just broken up, not to mention the two goals that were taken off. We see a shot, but Acton says no. Only six seconds elapsed there, so take this face off again. One clean by the Everett Silver Tips. The shot ramps up, and Maloney able to come up with that loose puck. Throws it off for Studioso, back into the slot. A shot partially fanned on, and now it's a mad scramble in the high slot. Comes back for Estrada. Estrada lifts it up, but it goes over the crossbar wide of the net. And now pushed ahead. Two on one break for San Jose. Eckinger drives in, gets upended by Pochette, who was down on the ice. And Pochette just took away all the lanes there. Here's Estrada. Up the boards. And cleared out by San Jose. It'll be played by Bassetti to the near side. Comes out to a San Jose player fresh off the bench. Blasts it down on net. Dropped off. And the pass just a little bit off the mark. San Jose comes back in with some speed. Cutting in towards the middle, tied up. And now Johnson brings it the other way. Brought across the line, Johnson gets it back. It's taken by a hit from even Miller. Now puck comes back towards the Everett side. Tydenko knocked down. Long stretch pass broken up by San Jose. Checking over his shoulder is Grayson North to see he has some time. He'll play it into the corner, but sealed off by Everett. Penley comes to an end. We're back to five on five once more. Under 90 seconds to go here in the first period. Acton holds the corner. Net comes off its moorings. Buck stays out of the net this time. Don't have to worry about a goal getting called off. And lots and lots of jousting down in front of that net. One twenty-two left to go here in the first period. Shots right now 9-8 in favor of Everett. And now a puck comes out right in front, but Everett couldn't settle. And San Jose able to move it out. That was trip. Acton slows the puck down back behind the net. Everett's going to intercept, try to throw it in front. But the Sharks take that one away. Nice pass through the legs. And then flip the trip on the near side. Trip has it poked off his stick. Thrown right back for Trip. Down low, sharp angle, thrown in front, and it trickles in. I think that's going to be Bascom with the goal. I think you're right. And San Jose with a late one to put the Sharks up one nothing here in the first period. And yes, Zach, I'm confirming, this one's going to stay up on the board. Are we sure? <laughs> <laughs> They're actually giving the goal to trip. More with the only assist. And speaking of jousting right at the draw, it was Pochette and Eamon Miller jousting literally at the dot. <laughs> I thought the ref would throw him out of the faceoff dot for that yeah. one, but I guess not. Yeah, usually you just boot them both out. You got to wonder, this is a bit frustrating for Everett right now. They think they score two, they both come off the board, and then San Jose comes back and scores one. Everett with the wraparound try, but it sneaks all the way out to the blue line. Puck will flutter up and out of play.
11 seconds left to go here in the first frame. Pichette in there to take the draw. He's able to win it for the Silver Tips, but it goes right to a San Jose stick. They have enough time for one more chance. Skating in, breakaway shots, and it's stopped. And the rebound cleared out to the blue line. But what a chance for San Jose, right? And the waning seconds of that first period, nearly making it 2 nothing. But Dominic Pacetti came up with another huge stop. And we, Zach, we've seen actually all game long, San Jose really working on that transition game and those odd man rushes up the ice. We've probably seen two or th probably even three two-on-ones for San Jose. Yeah, you know, they're, they're making the opportunities for themselves. They are making the passes. I, I've, I've noticed that a couple of times that they are flipping the puck, like right off the faceoff, they're flipping the puck over the zone. They got a winger either left or right, they're talking about it, but left or right, breaking in, and they get that bounce pass that lets them in. I mean, I think you're right. I think I've seen three breakaways right now. If it wasn't for that Everett goalie, Borsetti, uh, it'd be a lot different game right now. The only goal in that first period came by the Sharks. It was given to Colin Tripp. The only assist goes to Kyle Moore. We thought Andrew Baska might have gotten a piece of it on a deflection, but might have come off a uh, Everett player as it just slowly trickled into the net. Seventeen minutes put back up on the board as the teams will switch sides. Brendan Weir sits back in the penalty box for Everett, still serving the ten part of his two and a ten for charging. And probably the story of the game so far, the two goals disallowed that Everett did or did not score. Even strength to start this second period, but from what we saw there in the end of the first period, things got a bit heated. I wouldn't be surprised if we see more power plays and maybe some four-on-fours here as we go throughout the latter two-thirds of this game. There's a nice steal by Pace. Pace shovels it across, thrown right back door, and that just did not settle for Evan Rittenhouse. Otherwise, he would have had a wide-open four-by-six. Some nice passing right there. Flip back to the far corner. Sharks tag up, and now a stretch pass coming back the other way for Everett. A shot up high, wide of the net. Comes off the glass, and Johnson scoops it up, working down low. Throws it off the side of the cage, and then it's scooped up by San Jose. Played off the glass, ahead for Moore. Moore across the blue line, looks for a shot. Knocked down off the shins of the defender. That's why you wear shin guards, folks. Kyle pushed across the line. Puck knocked down with the glove and then stolen by Wade. Wade tries to force it into the center, but it was taken away by San Jose. Trip, the goal scorer, flips one in front, and that goes through everyone. It went through the paint. Puck brought across the line. I thought that was offside. Uh, so did I. And a sharp angle shot, knocked down. Wow. San Jose scooped that one up quickly. Otherwise, I think that one might have trickled across Ooh. the line. There's a big hit right in front of us. No calls by the referees. I thought that one was borderline as well. I thought that one was head contact. That got him right, two hands right up in the head. Is the ref calling something now? He was just talking to number 12. He just made the big hit. It's actually going to be a penalty to San Jose. Trip going to the penalty box. Huh. So Everett. I think it might have been for that retaliation. Yeah. It's going to be a roughing call to trip. Puck tied up. Poked ahead nicely by Misha Eckinger. Then played out of the offensive zone by San Jose, just trying to kill off some more time, but it's turned over in the neutral zone. 
you know, taking that puck out of the offensive zone, not a terrible strategy, but if you do that, you have to be sure that you can get it back in deep. Exactly. You can't give it up at the blue line. Here's Johnson. Tapped ahead by Wade. Pyle still moving back behind the net. Now it's Johnson trying to get that one free. He does, but he's tied up by DiNapoli. Sharks player got sandwiched there, but the puck came loose to another Shark from racing up the right wing side. Cut back behind the net. That was Jenkins, by the way, killing off a little extra time. Now here's Connors. Will Connors tries the centering pass. Sharks get a stick on it again. Doing a great job getting their sticks in the lanes right in front of the net. 37 seconds left on the power play. Connors throws it in front. No one in green to scoop it up until it finally comes for Pichette. Down low to Thompson, trying to feed a one-timer. That was taken down. And then Jenkins almost got clothesline there. And the puck, I think, hit someone on the Everett bench, or a glove maybe on the bench. The play was blown dead. 22 seconds left on the power play for Everett. So one nothing San Jose lead here from Sharks Ice. Jonathan Wold, Zach Shukate here for the 2015 Pacific District Championships. Here's Pachette, looking to feed it in front. And a stick down in the skates. I think Everett might have won a penalty there. Not going to get one. And a good stick lift. Nearly takes that puck the other way for San Jose. Good recovery, though, by Everett. Creep in towards the top of the circles. Fed towards the front. Puck still bouncing around and cleared out by the Junior Sharks. It'll go all the way down where the netminder Bassetti will play it indirectly off the boards for his defenseman. Now here's Buchanan stealing at the blue line. Wrist shot. That was denied, and then the rebound just sitting at the side of the net. Nice shot of flexibility by Bassetti. Stretched the leg out. Net came off its moorings in the process. 12.46 to go here in the second period. 1-0 San Jose with the lead. Puck tied up by Everett. They win the draw. Taken back by San Jose. Thrown right in front. It's sitting there right on the edge of the crease. And finally pushed to the board. Here's DiNapoli. Pivots and fires it ahead. Eckinger. Hands off. Wrist shot. Knocked down. Rebound. Scooped up by Eckinger. And now Miller throws it ahead. Back from Miller. Weaving through. Back up high. Cross for Ward. Looking for a shot. That ricocheted off to the side. And Everett throws it ahead. But the Sharks immediately turn it back into the zone. Now it comes loose. Three on two for the Silver Tips. Nifty move by Missler. Back to a Silver Tip stick. Forced to the outside, trying to play it off the boards. And Puck will come back for DiNapoli. DiNapoli under pressure. And it'll be cleared out, relieving some pressure for San Jose. Chip back in deep by the Silver Tips. Kissed off the glass and up towards center ice. Quickly right back in. And now to a man fresh off the bench. It's Moore. Throwing it right in front, and that's taken away. Good defensive play by Matt Clark. Wow, that was, that was pretty lucky to have that pass float up there and the perfect change by Kyle Moore just to get on that right at the last second. Back up high, Wodrowski throws it into the corner. And a penalty drawn. 
It's going to be a holding call. And is that Bascom going to the box? No, it's going to be Grayson North. So Everett back to the man advantage. But Everett has yet to beat Jake Acton, at least on a goal that counts on the scoreboard. Two more minutes to work here. Clark in to take the draw, and he wins it to the winger, Thompson. Trail Thompson. It's tied up, and San Jose gets the clear. Drowski takes the puck, waits for the pressure to relieve itself. Back for Wodrowski. A little bit of trouble with it. Working back down low behind the net. Trail Thompson out of the corner, met by two Sharks. And it'll be flipped all the way down again. Not much going yet on this power play for Everett. Long pass up for Studioso. Studioso tries to go back to the trailer. Again, San Jose gets a stick in there. One minute left on the power play. 9.44 left to go here in the second period. Maloney works it down low. Oh, off the side of the net, jamming away at it, but Acton able to hold the post and pin it to the side of the net. Oh, whatever they're throwing at the net, it's just Jake is there, is, is there to just shut the door. Everett's doing a good job getting pucks to the net, though. They have even up the uh, shots a little bit. It's 13-11 San Jose. So you see a shot knocked down in front and a follow-up chance by Studioso thrown just wide. Here's Pachette looking up high. Studioso. Back down low, in front, quickly swept away. Now the puck trickles into the slot, but right to a San Jose stick, take their time, and clear it down. You know, I said uh, shots 13 to 11. They're 13-12 now, but think about how that doesn't count the two non-goals as shots on net for Everett. This game is almost exactly even. Player came out of the box just as the play was coming through. Created a bit of a pile up. Still looks to be some chaos out there. The puck taken by San Jose and flipped all the way down. That's going to be icing against the Sharks. What do you think, John? San Jose going to get one more, make it a two-goal lead, or is Everett going to tie it up? You know, you've got to figure that Everett is eventually going to have a little bit of luck go their way because they're working hard enough to have a couple goals up on the board. Yeah, definitely. Now the next goal is critical either way. Yeah, another goal for San Jose could really be kind of a heartbreaker for Everett. If you've already seen two of your goals come off the board and then San Jose get a couple, that that would be tough to deal with. Uh, definitely. It would be a little a bit of a mental distraction there. Puck held in at the blue line by San Jose. Eight minutes to go here in the second period. Nice pass right in front, scores! Wow. Speaking of. That's a, that's a great shot by Buchanan right there. It, that puck was barely on his stick for a second before he released that. Yeah, he wasn't in necessarily even the best angle to come up with a quick shot. 
with just the way his body was positioned and he was still able to get one off. Buchanan with the goal, Pace and Rittenhouse with the assist. Got, you have to credit Pace for getting that puck in there as well. Definitely. Great pass. So it is a 2-0 San Jose lead. How can Everett respond? Puck chipped ahead, taken away by the Sharks. Back to the far board, San Jose was right there. And now a nice pass to knock it ahead. Three on three, in towards the slot. Couple stick lifts, and Clark gets it back. Clark, backhand shot blocked. And Pace absorbs the check, thrown right back in front. Clark all tied up, and the Sharks, I think that was Grayson North, he was had his stick tied up and still got a piece of it. Knocked back deep into the zone. Puck thrown in towards the front. Jenkins stretched out, trying to get a piece of it, but knocked away. Now flip back in by Gaynor. Pichette. Hands off, a little bit of miscommunication again. Now Pachette off the glass, up for Studioso, who gets rocked along the boards. Meanwhile, Wade skates the puck ahead, avoids a check, cuts in, tries to split three or four defense of the Sharks. Puck moving along the boards. Now it's slowing up, and it comes loose. Studioso finds an open man up high. It's Wojnarowski who shot, gets deflected wide, thrown back to the side of the net, loose, and pushed back to the outside. Wade tried to sneak it back to the corner. Sharks read that. 5.40 to go here in the second period. A 2-0 lead for San Jose as they have goals by Tripp and Buchanan. And we're going to have a slash coming up against San Jose. Mark Gaynor, he was pinned to the boards there, and I think a little bit of frustration showing by him. God, or is the penalty going to Wade? I wonder if it's offsetting, maybe? No? Wade's sitting in the box for sure. And Gaynor's going to the bench. Yep. I think in this case, we saw the initial penalty get called and not the retaliation. Yeah, that's and a, that's and really I rare. only saw the retaliation. Yeah, I didn't see a slash. I mean, it was a relatively weak retaliation. Not saying it was uh, a big hack in there on the hands or anything. There's a nice stretch pass for Moore. Thrown in front looking to feed Colin Tripp for his second goal, but couldn't quite settle it. Someone lost a stick out there. It's an Everett defender. Wodrowski, he'll pick it back up as the puck was pinned back behind the net. Now Wodrowski goes to challenge with his stick freshly back in his hand. Thrown into the slot, backhand shovel, and it trickles just wide of the net. Back up the boards to the near side. Moore in there for support. Creeps in, top of the circles, wrist shot off the mark. And Everett trying to get that puck out of the zone. San Jose still on the power play for another minute. Played up and out of the zone. San Jose starts to break out, but it's misplayed. It goes right to the man, right off the bench, Pichette. Somehow the Sharks are able to recover there. If he moved to create a little space, flip it down to the corner as the Sharks complete a change. 30 seconds left on the power play for San Jose. Four minutes to go here in the middle frame. Centering pass, pinballs around, comes back to a Sharks stick. Buchanan finds a man wide open in front. That was Rittenhouse. Nice play. Big save. 
North, D to D. Back across, into the slot, backhand shot. Pad save, rebound, scores! That's Buchanan again. And the Sharks relentless right in front of the net. They make it 3 nothing. Late here in the second period. Buchanan with the goal, Rittenhouse and Pace with the assist. Three thirty-five left here in the second period. Face off one clean by Everett. You gotta think that just for psychological sake, that uh, Everett needs a goal here before the end of the period. Definitely. They get one, the momentum will turn in their favor. I guarantee you. Even Puck if it is going to the next. Thrown period. to the back door, it comes back toward the net, clamped down on by Bassetti, and then a little bit more pushing and shoving after the whistle. And is Effinger going to the box? Yes, he is. Two minutes for cross-checking. So Everett Going to have a chance to get one up on the board. They'll have a power play for two minutes here. And that could give them a the little boost they need to get a goal before the end of the period. Pass across for Studioso. Tries to drop it back. It's knocked down out of the air. And Maloney. It will take that one away around center ice. Leaves the brush himself. Drops it off for Studioso. And the puck hits a snowbank and ricochets back out of the zone. And that's an unfortunate bounce for Everett. Because I thought that was actually a smart play. Yeah. That was, he threw it across where he knew only his teammate could get it. And the angle was right. It should have stayed in the zone. But it just happened to hit that bank of snow and come out. Here's Studio, so on the far wall. Works it down, but it goes right back to a shark stick. And now, lead pass for Jenkins. Jenkins with the breakaway, shoots! And a huge save made by Bassetti. Now it's a big save right there. You, you know, your team's on the power play, you want to come up with a big save. And uh, goaltender was ready for that one. Quick shot, save, and the rebound quickly picked up by Everett. Chipped in deep here by Evans. Rodan Evans working off the boards. Hands it off to the wall. Nice saucer pass over the stick. Wrist shot, saved. Rebound kicks around, and it comes to Rittenhouse on the near side, and he'll get it out. 35 seconds left to kill for San Jose. Minute 42 left in the second period. Nice fake pass, got the defenders to commit, then just slid that one in deep. Big stick lift. Everett keeps possession. A shot from the outside right into the glove of Acton, who hangs on for the whistle. 116 left in the period, five seconds left on the Everett power play. Face off one by the Sharks. Their clearing attempt bounces right back into the slot where it's taken by Ward. He throws it around the boards, straight to Trip, fresh out of the penalty box. Or with a man fresh out of the penalty box and Trip replacing him. Sharks try to turn back into the zone. Moore cuts around. 
picks up the puck in the corner, but Everett gets it back. Now puck turned over, goes right in front, and it's cleared up for Johnson. Johnson waits for his teammate to get towards the net so he can streak there and hopefully pick up a rebound, but the, there was no rebound, at least not down on the ice. Good save by Acton. Good awareness to kick that one up into the glass. 20 seconds left to go here in the second. Puck comes loose. Gathered by Pochette. And tapped ahead. Still enough time. 10 seconds to go in the period. Forced to the boards. Five seconds left. Can ever get one more shot. And it looks like it'll be cleared out by San Jose. And that's how we end our second period of play. The Junior Sharks able to expand on their lead here in the second period with two goals by Tyler Buchanan. First one, well actually, they're both assisted by Evan Pace and Evan Rittenhouse. Just uh, flop them as far as primary and secondary assists. And that's where we stand right now. It's a 3-0 San Jose lead. I'd like to thank you for watching the 2015 Pacific District Championships on Black Dog Enterprises. We are proud to be a growing leader in West Coast coverage of youth, high school, and collegiate hockey. All of our live broadcasts are avail available on DVD. Visit www.blackdogenterprises.org for more information. Additionally, we would like to take this opportunity to thank our partner Time to Score Incorporated for providing the data necessary to power the dynamic scoreboard module displayed at the top of your screen. The TTS system can be easily integrated at any facility. Visit www.time2score.com for more information. And Zach, uh, this one actually isn't listed on the paper. But I'd also like to mention that this copyrighted broadcast is strictly for the personal, private, and non-commercial use of its audience. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or account of this game without the express written consent of Black Dog Enterprises is strictly prohibited. How about that for a pro? Look at that. Yeah. No sheet or anything. No sheet. Making eye contact with you the whole time. <laughs> but uh, I think that'll do it for our first period, or our first two periods of play. We'll have the Zamboni out here to cut the ice for the third, and we'll come back for the conclusion of this game in just a few moments. You are watching the 2015 Pacific District Championships on Black Dog Enterprises. Stand by for the third period. And we are back here at Shark Ice at San Jose for the start of the third and final period between the Everett Junior Silvertips and the San Jose Junior Sharks. The 3-0 San Jose lead as we start the third period. Drop of the puck, and it's thrown all the way down into San Jose territory. Story of the game so far, two waved off goals, both for Everett. And that actually is what started the game, and then San Jose had their three goals. Here's the puck bouncing around in the slot. Can't quite settle on an Everett stick, and that's kind of the story of the game, just not quite getting the breaks that they need. Push back into the corner by San Jose. Try to jam it in on front. It's right on the doorstep, and the puck cleared out as a player is thrown into the net. I don't think that one counts, Zach. Uh, you know what? I don't think so. Nice try, though. Give uh, points for originality. <laughs> it's actually uh, not that original, so maybe not. Not that many points. Maybe that's not 23 points? No. <laughs> Pace back in to take the draw for San Jose, but it's won by Everett instead. Nice play. It was tapped and then re-tapped ahead. Puck dumped all the way down, and that's actually going to go for... Nope, waved off. Thought it was going to go for icing. Here's Clark. Back down behind the net. San Jose working along the boards. Place it ahead. And a nice pass to the far side for Buchanan. Buchanan already with two goals, looking for the hat trick. Takes a shot, and a big save made by Bassetti. Fifteen forty-five to go here in the third period. It's a 3-0 San Jose lead. There's a shot from up high. Ramps up, off a stick, thrown right in front, looking to feed Buchanan, who's just swarming right in that slot. Cannon gets it back, tries the one touch back across, but that was read by Evans, who will get it all the way back down. 
Long pass by North taken away, but good recovery by the Sharks. Buchanan to the outside, puts on the brakes. Thrown into the corner there. Shot up high. Actually, might have come off Buchanan there. I think it went right off a shin pad there. Here's Estrada. Give it to Johnson. Drop pass back for Estrada, but the shot wide of the net. Misplayed for a moment by Connors, but Everett's still battling. There's a shot down low on the pads, kicked away by Acton. Wrap around try. Acton holds the post. And now San Jose brings it up the near side. Bassetti hands it off for Greenfield. And here come the Silver Tips with some speed. Estrada across the line, wrist shot wide of the net. Getting a piece of it with the stick was Dante DiNapoli. Everett keeps it in the zone. Nice work from in tight along the boards. Thrown in front, no one there in green. Greenfield sends it back to the corner. And they throw it back door, it's loose. Comes out to Greenfield up high. Tries to redirect at the side of the net. Knocked down and Acton hangs on for the whistle. Wow. This is the type of pressure that Everett needs to be putting on. But for whatever reason, they can't quite seem to get the little break that they need. Now that's some great hand-eye coordination there by the Everett player that's down there. He hit it out of midair. If it wasn't for Jake sliding over, that, that could have gone in. Quick shot from the outside. But Acton is there, square to the puck to make the save. Brendan Weir back out there. Won the face off. Everett looking for a sh shot that was blocked. Thrown ahead trying to feed Miller. Sharks have to tag up here as they were offside. Jenkins holds the line. And then it's pushed past Gaynor. Here's Trail Thompson. Looking for a shot. That's blocked. And, ooh, that one might have gotten either the puck or a stick up near the throat of Miller. And he'll see, he's getting checked on on the bench. And it'll be cleared all the way down, should be icing, and indeed it is. Twelve fifty eight to go here in the third period. It's a 3 0 San Jose score. San Jose forces a turnover, throws it in front, but that's taken away by Everett. Now here's Wade as it poked off his stick. Everett still advancing up the ice, slowly but surely. Here's Studioso. He fans partially on that slapper. Oh. And it goes through for Buchanan for the hat trick. Shoots oh. and it's just wide. Wow. That was a great pass there. It's going for the stretch pass. Stays on sides, but just shoots it wide of the net. Now back across, trying to feed Buchanan. That gets through to a Everett stick. Now here's Pace. Pace rides it into the corner. Nice outlet pass by Wade. And a pretty nifty move by Studioso. Puck stays in the zone, but a shot is blocked. And the puck will ricochet into the bench. As it leaves play, we'll get our whistle with 11.54 to go here in the third. Maloney against Bascom at the dot. Looks like Maloney got the better of it. Evans forces it in deep. 
Taking back behind the net, Maloney working out of the corner. Up top, Freeman looks for a shot. It's tipped, knocked down. And forced to the boards by San Jose, then thrown right back in front for a decent chance for Harrison Clark. And another shot stopped by Acton. Acton with 20 saves, pardon me, 21 saves on the day. Shots 23-21 in favor of San Jose. Pretty evenly matched up shot count right there. Extremely evenly matched. In fact, that's the first time I've seen it that close, and I've done, I want to say, about seven games in, so far in the weekend, and it's never been that close. Ooh, stick slashed out of the hands. Uh, and we do have a delayed penalty coming up. Acton starts making his way back to the bench. And as he does, it's touched up. And heading to the bench, or the box, I should say, is Will Connors. Connors will sit. Two minutes for slashing here with 10.42 to go in the third. Not what Everett needed. Have to try to kill off this penalty and see if they can take any momentum from that. And meanwhile, over on the other side, San Jose, if they can convert on this power play, that might be the dagger that they need. corner. Looking over his shoulder was Tyler Nelson. Handed off. Miller. Back up top for Nelson. Finds an open man in the slot, but it's the pass is fanned on by Jenkins. And Jenkins trying to get one of those Brent Burns style butt checks. Didn't really connect too hard there. Although I think Brent Burns is more successful with it because he is gigantic. I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> He's just, that's a large human. There's a shot from the outside, kicked away. Jenkins, not quite as big as Brent Burns. Uh, no. Maybe a I third mean, of the size? I mean, they are still 16s. They can grow. I don't know if you're going to ever grow to be that big. <laughs> There's Nelson back down. Here's Nelson again. Try to feed Jenkins in the slot. Sharks power play working up high, trying to set up this play. Back up top, Nelson with a shot, bounces around, and Jenkins gets taken down to the ice. And that's gonna be a penalty coming up. The coaching staff saying, just let them touch it so you can get the five on three. And finally, it's touched up by Everett. 19 seconds of five on three. This is a uh, face-off in the zone, in the attacking zone. This could, this could turn into a goal. Yeah, whenever you've got the puck in the zone especially, you pretty much got to get that five on three as quickly as you can because there's so much more open space yeah. than when you have the delayed six on four. Puck tied up. Good job by Everett. Kill off a couple precious seconds there. 15 seconds left to five on three. Here's the North. Looks for the shot across, but it's sticked away by his opposite number, Clark. Back up top, North creeps in to the slot. Wrist shot, scores! Grayson North with the five on three power play goal with just two seconds left on it. That was, that was a nice little snapshot. He finds the back of the twine really easily. So North with the goal, Ward with the only assist, as it's now 4-0 San Jose. Eight forty-four to go here in the third period. Still a minute 43 of power play time for San Jose since they did score on the five-on-three portion of that power play. Here's Pachette trying to respond. 
a good burst of speed right off the draw. And Pachette gets a bit upended. Pace takes the puck back up the near side. Long pass taken away. Intended for Rittenhouse. North turns back to the zone. Forced back up, and it bounces off the stick of Rittenhouse at the blue line. Pace, oh, nice nifty pass. move off for Buchanan. Buchanan, out of the corner, finds an open man. Jenkins in the slot, shot blocked, and cleared out by Everett. Dydenko takes his time. Still on the power play for 45 more seconds. Dumped in deep. Ty Dinko back down to the corner. Jenkins tries to force it in front. Gaynor working up high. Down to the half boards. Back for Gaynor. To Ty Dinko. Look at that passing up top. That's tape to tape. Just trying to wait for something to open up. Everett doing a pretty good job staying in the right place. There's a shot from the outside with a screen in front Ooh. held by the netminder, Bosetti. A little bit of pushing after there. Jenkins got dumped to the ground. Jenkins uh, takes a bit of abuse out there. Yeah, I think it has a lot to do with the size. People think they can push him around. but His I size and his willingness to go right in front of the net and battle for that puck. Definitely. Shot Ooh. from up high, blocked. Bounces right back out of the zone. Yeah, Penalty comes to an end. Ward just stepped into that one. Uh -oh. And now the puck stolen, but losing his edge was Studioso. And again, just a little tough break for Everett. There's a shot blocked, thrown back into the slot. Trailer Freeman picks it up, wrist shot, looking for a tip, but it goes wide. Comes loose to the side. Acton didn't know where it was for a moment. A shot was put on, but it still hit Acton. Freeman. Shovels it down into the slot. Backhander knocked down by the glove, and the rebound quickly swept out. At least down to harm's way, still in the zone. Approaching the six-minute mark here in the third period. 4 nothing San Jose, and we've got a whistle coming out of the corner. I think that's a penalty. Yeah, I think Colin Tripp's going to get it for a uh, hit it from behind. You know, when your last name's Tripp, not necessarily a good hockey name. <laughs> but he can't do us a favor and take a tripping call. That would just that that'd would just be, that'd be give too us convenient. too much ammunition up here. <laughs> it's actually going to be a boarding call, so that's a 2 and a 10. Serving the 2 part of the 2 and the 10 is Egan Wolford. Yeah, I think Egan Wolford's still out with injury. I, I Ran to him uh, the other day at work, and he said that he's done for the rest of the season. I think he's just on the bench to serve the uh, extra penalties. He had he tore his ACL back at the beginning of the season. He's been Ouch. out ever since. Here's a wrister put towards the net, held by Acton. At least he doesn't have the ACA, ACL problems that uh, Rafi Torres has been, has been having for the San Jose Shards. Oh, right? Good grief. Guy, that poor guy can't catch a break. To be honest, it might be karma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, now that you say it like that, I think you're right. Puck pushed ahead out of the zone. Buchanan saucers it in front, but the junior shark broke off. Drop pass across the line, thrown back behind the net. Going to work up top. Intercepted by Pace, who will pivot and fire it out of the zone. Everett still on the power play for a minute 10. Back for Clark here. Off for Maloney. 
Studioso to the left side. Horse back behind the net. Thrown in front. Quickly pushed back behind the cage. 45 seconds left on the power play. Quick spin and a fire, but it's blocked. Thrown back through the crease, kicked away by Acton. There's Jenkins trying to throw another uh, Brent Burns style hip check. <laughs> <laughs> that time he just missed. Thrown back door, trying to pick that high corner, but it missed high. And now this could be a foot race. Two on one. And San Jose just forced to dump it in deep. Good job by Wyatt Wiley. Knocked that opportunity away. Wow, that was a great defensive play right there. And I have to say, that's a good Washington name. Wyatt Wiley. Yeah, Wyatt, Wyatt Wiley from Washington. If only he was from Walla Walla. <laughs> Played back behind the net, off to the far side. It trickled back towards Acton, who will clamp down on it for the whistle. Just three minutes and 43 seconds left to go here in the third period. San Jose with a four to nothing lead. The only goal here in the period came on a five on three power play scored by Grayson North. The assist going to Cameron Ward. Clean face-off win by Everett. Shot put down on the pads and kicked away. The rebound was quickly, clear, quickly cleared out. Nice stick lift to take it away from Bascom. Bascom tries to recover, throws it across the blue line for a quick second. Freeman across the line. Into the slot, but no one there in green. And a good handoff for Bascom. Bascom using his speed, racing up the right wing side, throws it in front, comes back to the trailer, and that shot's blocked. That was a nice uh, pass over to Kyle Moore. Now Moore working along the far side boards. It's tied up in his skates, taking a bit of a rough ride. Comes off for Buchanan, backhand saucer over for Gaynor, who dumps it in deep. 2.45 to go here in the third. Sharks tag up after they dump it deep. And played up the boards for Roden and Evans. Turning back was Tyler Nelson. Not toward the net, kicked away. Not out of the zone yet. Flip back to the corner. Scooped up by Evans. In front, looking for the tip. But I don't think his intended man, Carter Wade, got a piece of it. Now here comes San Jose. Jenkins gets across center. Flips it down. He's actually going to win the race to the puck. He tries to throw it in front. Now it comes back out for Jenkins. Jenkins settles it. Backhand shot. Scores! Look at that. Sam Jenkins gets rewarded for going to that uh, high rent area right in front of the net. Oh, that's, that's very undisciplined. I'm not sure if you caught that, but... Did he just try to go for the handshake line through the wrong bench? Yes, he did. And so Jenkins will go to the penalty box for that. That's unfortunate. That's, uh, you don't like to see that kind of unsportsmanship, you know? And it's two minutes for an unsportsmanlike conduct. And I'm sure he'll get a talking to from the bench after the game. So Everett going to be on the power play for two minutes here. Just a minute 54 left to go in the third period. Five nothing your score. The only assist on Jenkins' goal goes to Misha Eckinger. Puck comes up to the blue line. Clark off for Thompson. Backhand shot. Sharp angle. Rebound. Picked back up by Thompson. D to D. Clark fires it in front. Quick turnaround shot 
by Connors, but that's blocked off a skate. Back up top, Clark looks for a slap shot. That's blocked. I think it might have been better served to just go for a wrister. If there was a bit of traffic in front. Just could have lifted it. Tried to catch Acton off guard. Taken back behind the net. Up top, Clark looks for the snap, but it's blocked and cleared all the way down. We're in the final minute. Just 45 more seconds to go. Pace hands it off, and the puck comes off the stick, lands right in front of us, at least on the ice. Nice hit there by Rittenhouse. 30 seconds left to go here in the third period. The 5 nothing San Jose lead. Everett still trying to get at least one up there for just for uh, pride, if nothing else. 15 seconds left. Puck bounces out in front. It's loose. At the side of the net, diving on top of it is the netminder, Acton. And it looks like it was able to keep it out. Net comes off its moorings as well. Just as you were saying, maybe they'll get one. They had <laughs> apply the most pressure I've seen so far. At least the most pressure since the first period. Yeah. Eight point six left to go here in the third period. Face off one by Everett. Lost in the skates. Up high. A shot right into Acton. And I think he tried to just play it off into the corner to kill off the last couple seconds, but Referees with a little bit of a quick whistle. So we'll take one more face off. Try to go for the shot right off the draw. It's eaten up in the corner and the Sharks are victorious here with a 5-0 win over the Everett Junior Silvertips. And how about Jake Acton comes up with the shutout. Yeah, that's a decisive victory right there for, uh, for the Junior Sharks there. Dropped their first one against the Alaskan All-Stars, but rebound nicely here with a nice 5-0 win. And Acton, as we said, with the shutout, a 33-save shutout. Shots finished up 33-28 to in favor of Everett. The game-winning goal actually came way back in the first period, scored by Colin Tripp. Here in the third period, the Sharks added two more goals. The first one, a 5-on-3 by Grayson North. The second, the goal in the final two minutes by Sam Jenkins, which brought us to our 5 to nothing score. I think that'll just about do it for us here on behalf of my broadcast partner, Zach Shokite, and myself, I'm Jonathan Wall, and I'd like to thank you for watching this Black Dog Enterprises production of the 2015 Pacific District Championships. Your final score here from San Jose. It was the San Jose Junior Sharks 5, Everett Silvertips 0. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good rest of your tournament.